What up, you guys? It's Jane's React, and welcome back to my channel. But if it's your first time here, then it's just welcome. Today, we're going to be getting the Baddies West episode 5. However, before we get into the episode, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you can keep up with what I'm doing on this channel. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the episode. This episode is a continuation of Scotty and Razor going back and forth. Razor finally let it be known. She said, I, it isn't just about the tattoos for me. I don't want you to touch me. I don't want you in my personal space. Scotty said, that's fine, but you let Krishan touch you. She said, yeah, but if I want her to touch me, that's fine. She said, but you, you can't touch me. Scotty said, okay, and they shake hands on it. I still feel like that's a bit weird. I understand where Razor's coming from, but I just wish she had like a better comeback because I'm like, Razor, we out here defending you in these internet streets and... You are not making it easy for us at all. But they shake hands, let bygones be bygones. But Natalie, let it be known, before they disperse and go to separate and get ready to go out to support the girls in their performance, she points at Tommy and say, you need to squash your beef with Stunna because Stunna and Kat are on their way. Tommy, the professional, said, I don't know the girl personally to be squashing any beef. It's not that deep for me. I don't know this girl. But we will find out later that this calm, cool, and collective Tommy ain't going to last long. So, Stunna and Kat arrive later. Mind you, Natalie and Tommy did talk about the whole situation between Scotty and Razor. And they thought it was weird how Razor was just grabbing Natalie's face, screaming, ah -ha! And that was weird, but that's, a, you know, it is what it is. The girl was drunk, and she was obviously just lit and also pissed. So, just let her have her moment. But while they were talking to each other, Natalie calls Stunna and she's trying to talk to Tommy and Stunna and trying to have them have a conversation in the kitchen so they could squash the beef so they can all be on one accord when they go out to the club for the performance. Stunna and Cass show up later. Natalie greets them. They arrive in the kitchen. As y'all know, this isn't going to go well. It's going to continue to go left when it comes to Atasha and Soul and Cole Stunna. So they try to talk in the kitchen. Stunner brings up the audition again, saying that you hit me, you jumped in my fight with Suki. And Tommy said, I didn't jump in your fight. They show a flashback. Tommy obviously smacked that girl in the back of the head. Maybe she was drunk and she just don't remember. And Stunner even made that point. But she said, no, no, it, that ain't it. That ain't it. I'm like, no, baby, it is it. You were drunk. It is what it is. Just state the facts. You know you were drunk. It is what it is. So they're going back and forth. Tommy's trying to run up on her. Stunner's calling Tommy grandma. Tommy's really <laughs> some type of way about the grandma insult. But, y'all, I wasn't really paying attention to this argument because one was just a bunch of nonsense. But, y'all, I can't get over these confessional looks. I know people aren't a fan of some of these confessional looks so far, but I feel like they look really good. It is a lot of makeup being caked up on their face. <laughs> But I feel like they look nice with all the pink and the diamonds. They shining. Cat, she look real good. I love me some cat. She's so pretty. And she's always nice and always being the mediator, which I also love. Granted, she did not jump in or help stun her when she was getting attacked from left, right, up, down, back, side to side. But I still love cat anyway. Y'all ain't going to be dragging cat. But anyways, they're hurling insults at each other. Stun her throws a shoe over the counter. Tommy just wants to get her hands on Stunna. It isn't happening. Security's not letting it happen. And she said, I'm going to whoop you like mommy. And she's bringing up her daughter. And apparently she got her daughter a Range Rover. Ma'am, I want a Range Rover. But anyways, they separate them. Tommy's upset because she can't get her hands on Stunna. And she wants to go home. She said, give me my flight. I want to get up out of here. Now he's not letting that happen. So after everything's cooled down, they convince Tommy to stay and not take a flight home. All the girls hop on the bus except for Tommy. She's going to be taking her own ride there. And while they're headed to the club, Natalie's just gassing the girls up, talking about how she loves all their music. She loves stunning music. She loves rock. She said, rock, we can't wait to sing along with your song. Rolly's somewhere sleeping, but they're excited for her performance as well. But before they continue the conversation, rock interrupt the conversation with prayer and starts praying. And I don't mind a good old prayer. However, I just couldn't help but to laugh because I'm like, not y'all praying after y'all been beating the Mario coins out of each other's heads, but go ahead and pray, Rock, because you haven't gotten this far without the Lord. <laughs> 
So after that, we get to the club, and right when they arrive to the club, the fans are outside of the club screaming, hollering. The girls are in the confessional shock, saying this is a Baddies West welcome. So then they make it into the club. They get on the stage. Everybody's having a good time. Natalie starts introducing all the girls, and everyone's really excited. But this time, y'all, this time the performances are coming. And this is what I was waiting for because I love music and I love rap in particular. So they introduced Roly first. Roly, she performed doing the thing. Even got me bobbing my head a little bit. I was like, okay, Roly. Then she peeped that the <laughs> DJ Sky isn't DJing. I'm like, well, maybe she just don't have a gig this episode. Maybe it's coming soon. But she wasn't DJing at all. But I'm going to get off of Sky because in the comment section, y'all be dragging DJ Sky. So next was Stunna, and she was thrown in a rotation, making me dizzy. But I liked going in rotation. I was like, okay, all right, I'm like, okay. So then it was Tommy's turn. Tommy wasn't feeling it. She wanted to be last. So no, I want the girls to go first. You know, let them go ahead, then I'll go last. I'm like, you ain't slick, and you won't gonna go last. You're not the main star of the show. <laughs> but she went up anyway, barely performed. I'm like, are y'all forgetting y'all lyrics? What's going on here? <laughs> But she performed, but she wasn't really feeling it. DJ Sky saying, I thought I would get more out of Tommy's performance. I'm like, Sky, shut up. So then we have Miss Vibe coming through, screaming to the top of her lungs, to the top of her uterus, it's a vibe all the time. And I said, absolutely not. And I had to turn down the volume. And then Lo, apparently she's a rapper. I said, okay. She snatched the mic and she starts rapping. I'm like, Okay, like, this is cute. Everybody jamming, having a good time. And y'all, that was pretty much the end of the episode. I feel like it was a filler episode. There wasn't much going on. I did enjoy their performances. I joined every minute of it. However, it seemed like we picking up steam next episode. Stunna and Biggie go at it. And the way Biggie just charged and hit Stunna in the face, it was a bit fast. So I'm not sure if it landed but Stunna Head went back like a land I'm like, hopefully she was just dodging and she didn't actually land that punch. Also, DJ Sky is sitting down with Lo and Krishan and talking to them how Tommy was feeling some type of way. And then DJ Sky was like, well, that's not a hit record. And then the girls, I guess they're about to have another outing. And then Tommy said, well, I'm not a little girl. I don't want to join them. I'm like, well, you're on a show with a bunch of girls that are younger than you. And you've been acting like a child since the season started. But whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this episode, y'all. Thanks for watching. And also make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you keep up with Genius React.